All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, in this episode, we are going to finish up making the shaft. Got a few operations still left on it. And we're also going to make the uh, indicator hold holder for the body. So let's get started making the uh, indicator holder and um, go from there. Okay, I got an end mill and a, and a drill truck. I'm not doing any side forces with this. All, I, all I'm doing is, is making a flat here. Uh, and the only reason I'm doing it is because is I'd have to take my drill truck out, which means I'd have to, which means I'd have to move this vise, then I'd have to refine my center. I'm working with limited headroom here. Just kidding. I'm going to massage this into the body a little bit. If you can see there. This side's eh. But that's the back. I'll work on it some more. So there's the indicator holder. Indicator goes in like so. Like so. Like so. Probably quite not that far. Now, I'm not going to use this indicator. I'd like to because I really like it. It's a, an old federal that actually has a inspection, department of defense. I'm sorry, inspection, ordinance department, USA. So it's pretty old. It's really nice, but it's a little, a little heavy. You'll probably find us a smaller face one to go on there. Okay, not to make a sketchy setup even sketchier, I've had to, because I don't have enough length here, I don't want a bunch of stick out on this bit, more than it already has, um, I've had to lift the block up and the, the parallel with uh, small one inch blocks. So I got this machine running as fast as it, it'll go and let's see what happens.
Okay, I'm just going to use some gauge blocks here to see how much I need to take off. To see how where I'm actually at. In other words, so that was 133. This is 0.134, and this is 0.135. So that doesn't fit. 134 is going to be 3.39 millimeters and I know I need to come out to exactly four millimeters so I'm going to take another 61 millimeters 0.61 millimeters off so I need to take about 0.3 millimeters aside Okay, so that calculation didn't work out for whatever reason, probably because of the flex I have in this setup. So, I'm going to do another tenth. We're trying to get this to fit in here, so. Gauge set here that's exactly four millimeters. I think it's a 1.159. So. Equal mount off the other side. Alright, that's gonna be a good fit. It's it's got a little bit of a little bit of gap in it, but not much. Let's see what our gauge block says. The part's just a little bit under four millimeters, so gauge block's a nice tight fit. It's exactly four millimeters. That's what we want. So I'll finish out this depth and we'll flip it over and uh, finish from the other side. My bit's not long enough to go all the way through this. Okay, I thought I'd bring you back here because if something bad is going to happen or exciting or, you know, those those great uh, moments in machining when you see end mills break, it's going to be right now. I'm about to separate the two sides, so if something's going to get caught and go flinging across the room, it's going to be now. I think we are through. Just a little bit of cleanup there. I'm gonna go down just a little farther. And then I gotta finish off the other side as well. Alright, now with some hand fitting. Notice we got just a little bit of uh, cross cut there from flipping it. That's okay. Okay, nice. Not too tight. Not too loose. Let's see if our pin fits. I made this pin off camera and basically it's just a four millimeter pin that fits it's a little bit wider on one side because what I'm going to do is press it into one side and the other two will be free floating okay that's going to need some massaging but that's basically what we want uh, Pin's not all the way through. I'm not going to put it all the way through in yet, and I've got to cut off the other side. So I'm going to do a little bit more cleanup on this and get it moving smoothly. It moves now. It's fine. It's a nice tight fit, but it's 
not quite smooth. Knock that pin out, maybe. Pin out of there. I can see right now I'm a little bit, I got a little bit of a notch right there. I need to get rid of. So, some more file work and, uh, and then we'll, uh, attempt to do the rounding here see how that goes okay I've got a setup here that I've used once before to do something similar but basically I've got my pen that I'm going to be using to set the piece and I've got a square vise on a square table set the pen in Make sure the pin is square, nice and tight, and I'm just going to round off that piece by basically by hand. I'll flip it from time to time, make sure I'm going even. So uh, I'll show you a little bit of it and then I'll bring you back when it's done. I forgot to mention, uh, I've got the clamp on one side and I can push down on this side to keep it square and also rotate it in so that I'm taking more and more off. Um, as you can see, the the round is nice. It goes together like that. I'll have a pin in it. And there it is. That's your rocker. Got the shaft finished up. We got the pin made. Just needs to be to size. So what do we have left? We have the probe holder. I've already started on the probe. Here's a mock-up of the probe. So I'll need to make a holder to hold this. It's got a little ball on the end of it. So we'll do that next time. And next time might be, might be the last one. Um, I may throw another one in, just a, a separate video on making the, um, the probe holder. Just because, because. No reason. So, uh, hope you enjoyed that, and um, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.